So to grow yourself as a musician, you need to train your ear so that you can hear the intervals. Intervals being defined as a relative distance between two notes with reference to a given note. So I'm using A major or the A note as my reference point here, the 7th fret on the D string and I'm playing the notes in relation to that note on the G string. That is a flat sec second interval which is one fret above my root of A, the B flat note. It's referred to as a flat second interval. Incidentally it's the most dissonant musical interval. From flat two to two to flat three, the minor third, to the major third, to the fourth, to the flat fifth, to the fifth, to the flat six, to the six, to the flat seventh, to the seventh, back to the root. Now incidentally when you switch octaves, now I'm changing from A to A, one becomes eight in the next register, the next octave. In other words, you add seven to one. One unison, one flat nine, because it's two plus, flat two plus seven. That's a B flat. Flat nine, nine, Flat 10, 10, 11, flat 12, 12, because you know that E is 5 plus 7 is 12, flat 13, 13, flat 14, 14, back to 1, the A there, at the uh, 17th fret of the E string. Right, so you know how to name intervals. You get those sounds in your head. And you know that's the most dissonant tone you can get in music. Now, talk to you about the next register, and you're on your way. You've also stretched your hand out. You're getting to know where the notes are. Because it's A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, or D flat. D flat when you're coming backwards, E flat or D sharp if you're going upwards. E, F, there is no sharp and flat between E, nor is there between B and C. You get to know the fretboard this way, and you know where the octaves sit. importantly get to know where those things sit and you'll see with time how it will pay off incidentally the note below the root a flat to a is referred to as a raised seventh when you play this kind of chronic minor scale and other exotic sounding scales like phrygian phrygian dominant the gypsy scale the hungarian scale the hungarian minor that's Phrygian dominant because you've got a major third not a minor third that's a minor scale seventh you also know it as the um, as the seventh major seventh or you also know it as the 14th that's the 14th okay I hope that helps you you never have to be confused when you watch other people's lessons when they refer to these intervals remember flat seven is also referred to as dominant seven 
dominant flat. Okay, in case you didn't know that, it can be confusing initially. Augmented means raised, like the Jimi Hendrix chord. You've got an E there, you've got a D there. So you know that D's two frets below E, therefore it's a flat seventh or dominant seventh. You know when you do that shape, that's a major third. So you've got an E dominant seventh chord, and then the Jimi Hendrix adds the G note, which is a flat three. That's where it can get confusing because flat three is raised second. Raised equals augmented. Okay, have I lost you yet? E dominant seventh, E dominant seventh, augmented second. E dominant seventh, augmented second. Or E dominant seventh, flat third. You choose which you like best. Go into your new year with new information. If you look at my videos, there's over 1,400 of them. Many I'm just jamming. I'm standing behind a microphone. I'm howling like a wolf. Playing with some of my friends or family sometimes. We're having fun. When you see me sitting like this or sitting with an electric guitar on a sofa downstairs in my music room, I'm normally giving you a lesson. Watch the full, full videos. Some of them are quite long, up to an hour. But there's a huge amount of information contained within segments. So you really have to flick around if you're not going to watch the whole video. I know you won't watch the whole video. Flick around and you'll be astounded how much information I'm giving you in a very, very understandable way. Remember what I said? There's no beginning. There's no Indian music. So there's no chronological order. You just go sift through my videos and uh, you're going to get a huge amount of information. I can guarantee you that. Thanks for viewing.